Hey everybody, I'm Chris at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing, and I need therapy. No, but seriously though, there's there's a lot of days when uh, when I could use some stress relief, and today is the day. It's nice and sunny out here, and uh, there's actually sunshine for more than one day this week. It's crazy, but uh, it's a little windy, and uh, maybe in the 50s right now. But we've got a lot of work to do and I can get some stress relief at the same time. I'm going to show you what that is here. Hang tight. Um, if you look out back here, we got a whole bunch of machines and uh, we're getting a load ready for Jesse up in Vermont at New England Wood Splitters. He's got all these ones on the blue racks here. Those are all for Jesse there. A couple little uh, cus customer pickups here. We got this one here is getting picked up tomorrow. Um, that's Matthew. Thank you, Matt, for choosing Wolf Ridge. Um, that's uh, number 1998. But anyhow, back on track here. We've got all this stuff sitting back behind the shop. And like this, this old shipping container, the silver thing here, we've got that in use and basically just storing, um, you know, piece parts, some cylinders, you know, um, hydraulic tanks, hubs, jacks, you know, that type of thing where you can set a whole pallet of parts right in there, keep it dry. And uh, it's been working really well. We also have the shipping container here that is a pain in the butt and I'd like to get rid of it. So what I did was I ordered a Versa tube building or a you know carport. It's a light duty building, but uh, fairly easy to set up and all we got to do is just grade out a spot for it and uh, anchor it into the ground with some uh, rebar or I think what that's going to do that's going to help give us back some space here in the yard and keep everything dry and be able to drive in and out with a forklift and it's going to be open on each end but it'll have full side walls to keep everything dry underneath. And so <clears throat> my therapist right here, this yellow thing, that is my therapist. And I'm going to get this all finished up. Got a whole bunch of uh, this pile here is four truckloads, four triaxle loads of recycled base. And we've got a bunch of gravel that is left, gravel and sand that's left from when we moved the hill back here. We took out a lot of this hill here and expanded our parking lot. That hill used to come out to about here and we pushed that all back, dug all that gravel and sand out and piled it up here. And then now that was last year. Now this year I'm going to make room for the new Versa tube building over here and the laser shipping container here and then our big dumpsters would go uh, facing out towards the parking lot um, our steel dumpsters we got one for mild steel the big gray one down there we have one for stainless steel and then one for aluminum here but they're scattered all over the place and i uh, want to make this get this all organized a lot better and I get some therapy at the same time. Who doesn't love jumping in a machine and just bulldozing the out of piles of dirt? I mean, what more could you want?
got some battery dead batteries in one of the cameras i think it's about time to wrap this video up i will uh keep working here and uh keep keep working on this grading here and uh probably get this video edited tomorrow but uh let's spin you around here show you what we got so far it doesn't seem to add up very fast you're only gaining a couple inches of pass or a you know takes a long time with just a skid steer to build grade um, but you can see we're getting you know leveled off here fairly well um, this side's get could probably come up another eight inches or so before we do the base course and uh, I think we want to it's it's pretty wet and uh, pretty soft here so I think I'd want to take a roller roller compactor in here and uh, work this in compact it down really good before I get get too far getting base course on it if you get it so thick uh, the compactor doesn't work so um, it's probably a good time to get a compactor in here start packing that all down then we can take more gravel and put on top pack it in again um, build it up in layers um, you can kind of see how I have the swale kind of taking shape here along that tree line that'll let the water drain out between that gap in the trees out to the retaining pond out front and uh, most of this pile here I don't know if you saw in the video there um, it's still frozen in the middle that pile was probably 10 feet wide by about six feet tall and it's still frozen in the middle so I'm going to scrape off from each side and get that that layer that's still frozen exposed to the sun so we can get that all cleaned up and then we will keep going so so that'll do it for today but uh um it's you know april 21st right now i'd like to have all this grading done and compacted and get this shed up by the end of the month at our old shop we do have a whole bunch of pallets full of like cylinders engines um you know rims and tires um, basically all of our overflow from the old shop is going to come in here and get put in this shed and uh be able to basically save us about thirteen hundred dollars a month between that red shipping container over there and uh the uh the old shop down the road here about three quarters of a mile um, we can get everything on this property again save us thirteen hundred dollars a month so that makes you know a project like this worthwhile and who doesn't like playing in the dirt got my therapy session in my therapist we call her i don't know we call her judy you know get to ride around in judy all day plowing dirt around couldn't get much better than that so thanks so much for watching guys and oh i almost forgot um coming up the second weekend in may um seventh through the ninth or something like that um there's the northern uh northeastern loggers expo in burlington vermont essex junction vermont there's a lot of different names for the town right along lake champlain um, we've got the loggers expo there i will be there with new england wood splitters and jesse over there he has three or four machines i think available to buy at the show so if you're in vermont area you want to come check out a wood splitter hit up the north northeastern loggers expo at the i believe it's the champlain expo grounds or fair, fairgrounds there um, big outdoor show friday and saturday and uh, we'll be in right in the middle of the group right in the middle of the pack you will not miss us i'll be there with jesse at north new england wood splitters and we'll have some Wolf Ridge wood splitters available for you to pick up there. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will put a link for Jesse's info up here so you can talk, talk to Jesse and see what he has available. I do not know what he has sold and what he doesn't. He tells me to make a whole bunch of wood splitters, and <laughs> that's what we do. 
Uh, Jesse keeps track of what's sold and who, what's available and all that stuff from there. So, um, but thanks so much for watching guys. Take care.